Good day. Today on the bench, I'm going to tie you up a Zonker booby. This is a variation uh, a friend of ours, Dave Burns, has tied a fly called the Anaconda. It's very, very similar to this, or this is similar to his, whichever. Uh, I'm going to tie you this variation. That's the one I've seen on the internet, and I'll tie it up exactly as found. And I know uh, Don and Dale have been fishing, and uh, Dave's been fishing that. Uh, Anaconda for a little bit and it's uh, really really been a good fly You've seen it on the show a few times and you're gonna see a lot more of it So anyway, we'll go over the materials we need to tie the fly. I'm going to be using a Daiichi 2546 size 6 saltwater hook. It's got a wide gape. I like that the uh, Underneath the underwing here or the, the tail I'm going to use some red ice stub the body, I'm going to use some ice stub in the UV pearl. The wing, we'll be using some rabbit zonkers in white. The, um, the eyes, we're going to be using some Rainey's round booby eyes, the white foam, these are in the medium size. The thread, I'm going to be using some red A dot thread to tie with. So uh, get a hook in the vise and tie one of these zonker boobies up. And a very, very productive fly. I mean, Dave, Dave used a few different materials, and I'll tell you, I'm not knocking it because it works and works very, very well. I'm just going to give you this variation of it. You, you've seen Dave tie the other one on the show. I'm not going to do it. He's already just done that for you. I'm going to get my eyes. I just tie and make sure my thread's in the center like that. Then I can just exit on. I'm just using a dot thread here, so I'm going to have to go around a little more often. There are more times, more wraps, and with six hot. And this is going to roll around on you. That's fine. I'm going to solve that problem right now. We're coming in here with some um, our solar is. A little drop on top. Let that run into the boobies. Right there, I'll cook that on. And then they're not going to be turning around anymore. That'll stop that. Go in the back here. Underneath the tail. The original pattern had some a couple strands of uh, floss in there. I'm just going to use this nice bright ice tub. Very, very breathable. Moves very well in the water. Now we're going to bring in some of our rabbit strip and I like just use a thinner, the thin cut rabbit strip. They're very narrow and when you're tying zonkers and so forth this hair kind of gets in the way so what I like to use is just a, a little foamy here. This is for stamps. You can buy that in a stationery store. Get a little hand. You can get a little bit of your fingers damp on that so you don't have to lick your fingers all the time and don't know where that rabbit's been. And then we've uh, got a good long tail on that. And I'll just put a half hitch in there. This is UV Pearl. And this UV materials has really taken having quite a presence in the fly tying game and the, and the flies because it's it's really proven itself. The UV is so visible to these fish. We're, we're starting to realize how important that hue is to them. And uh, so I just X on the front and underneath, cover my whole shank there. Now when I come forward I make sure I, I want to tie in as much hair as I can at the front. And I'll get some good turns right in here by the eyes. Clip this hide off as close as I can to the eye of the hook. Getting pretty tight. I don't have a lot of room to work in there. I want to get this really snugged up and then I'll clean this up with my thread. 
get a nice little red head on the front. There we go. And then I can uh, whip finish that right there. Put a little. I'm going to put a little dab of solar res on this as well. And uh, it's, a, it's a fly that will not get chewed up. Very durable. <clears throat> and I can't overstate the effectiveness of this fly. And I know Don and Dale have used it the last two years, I think it has been. I found out about it, and it is a very, very effective pattern. So there it is, a Zonker booby. And uh, thanks to Dave Burns, he's tied up the Anaconda, which is a very, very close cousin of this one, I guess we'll call it. For now, Dave, and uh, you want to get some big bull trout, make sure you contact Dave Burns over in Golden Bridge, Columbia. You guys get you on some really good fish. So, thanks for watching on the bench. We'll catch you again real soon.